Hey guys, welcome to another DaVinci Resolve 19 editing tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the surface tracker inside of the color page and also the fusion page. The surface tracker isn't a new surface tracker in DaVinci Resolve 19. I believe it was released in the previous version in DaVinci Resolve 18. So I've just got my video clip loaded here. This is just a video clip of my cat just walking in the backyard. And we want to stick something just across his body here, but as you can see when he walks, you can see some distortion going on around the arms and the legs of the body. And you can see that it pulls into a certain direction. And we want to make it look like it is stuck on my cat, essentially. Big shout out to my cat for being a good sport with this. Uh, this was only take 50. <laughs> so there we go. So we've got him walking and let's go over to the color tab first. And it's really easy to do in the color tab. Uh, all you have to do is just make sure you got your effects checked. Go up to the top here and just type in surface. So we'll drag the surface tracker over here. Normally when you use the surface tracker, you're going from left to right in terms of that order. So the first one is we have to create our boundary. So I'm just going to click bounds and just create a whole bunch of points to track. This will also be our border as well. Anything you put in here will be stuck within these bounds. So then let's go over to mesh. Now I like to leave it on automatic. You can pretty much leave it all on default. You can also create more points. So if there's a lot of details to track, you can just bring the number up higher, but I find 50 works fine for most of things. So next one is track. Down here, I just like to leave all this as your standard and then just go quality from faster to better. And then let's just track forward and backwards. And as you can see, as we're tracking forward and backwards, the mesh is actually sticking really well to his body. So you can see where his leg moves, it holds it there. And then when his, I guess, shoulder or arms move, it sticks to that as well. So let's just wait for it to finish. So let's just play it back quickly. So as you can see, the mesh points and the geometry of that is actually sticking really well just go over to result and then this is our border here so let's just add our png so i'm just going to put the youtube logo in here so what you're going to do is you're going to add this green square to the green triangle that's just so you can see the image has stuck to the surface tracker. The next thing you want to do is you want to get the top blue square to the bottom blue triangle. So as soon as you do that, it allows you to have the alpha channel removed so you can have a nice looking image and it's just the image that you want and not the black background. So that is looking good. We're gonna go back to the surface tracker and we can adjust some more things. So I'm gonna go to result and then I'm gonna go down to compositing and change composite type from normal overlay. Um, you can get creative with this. You don't have to go with overlay. You can do soft light. I like soft light as well, but overlay can look much nicer. It looks more contrasty and you can see more details behind the image on my ginger cat's fur. So that's looking good. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go over to overlay placement. You can choose reset positioning. It will fall into this border here just for this test video just so you can see how it all looks. And it looks quite nice, it's very well tracked. You can see it's not bouncing around in the frame, it's stuck to my cat's fur. That's actually looking good, but you can go over here and just change sliders. And you can adjust your positioning, so your X and Y, so you can adjust it left and right. You can adjust the Y axis as well, the zoom, so if you just want it to be like a small little logo, you can do that. And now it looks like I have spray painted the YouTube logo onto my cat. So that's actually pretty cool. Now let's go over to the Fusion tab. So now how to use it in the Fusion tab. So the Fusion tab is essentially where you'd be building upon it. If you just wanna simply stick an image onto a surface, more than welcome to just stick with the color page. But if you wanna build some more visual effects and have more layers to it, I would recommend just doing it in Fusion just because you have a lot more freedom. So let's just go over here. So let's go media in, shift space, and we're gonna type in surface tracker. Boom, so we get our surface tracker. Similar sort of thing, so just create our bound. Let's create our mesh. Happy with that mesh. 
track and then track forward and backwards. But before I do that, I always forget to do this. I'm gonna change the quality from faster to better. It, you just get a slightly better accurate track by just going better. So we'll just do that. So yeah, so now we can just go back and forth and as you can see, the surface tracker has stuck to my cap. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I am just gonna create some text, slap it on there, change the username, let's change it to subscribe because if you found this video helpful, I definitely would recommend subscribing to this channel. It helps out a lot. So let's just bring it about there and then I'm just gonna to go to here, go to a result, compositing, and then we'll just go to sublight. So now it's a little bit more subtle. And now with the text, when we play it back, it will be stuck and will be distorting as if I got a Sharpie and I wrote subscribe on my cat. And of course, since this is fusion, you can build up multiple layers, do a whole bunch of funky stuff. So just another thing is if you want to adjust the positioning of the text, if you're not happy with it, you know, sitting pretty low here, you can just go over here, go over to transform and, you know, adjust the offset a bit. We'll make it about there. As you can see, it's quite a fun tracker that you can use to do some really creative, fun stuff inside of DaVinci Resolve, whether that's just, you know, sticking a logo on someone's shirt, for example, or, you know, doing some motion graphics or visual effects sort of stuff. This Surface Tracker can come in handy for a lot of your projects. So um, yeah, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. And I'll see you guys in the next video.